Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here. And today I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to get your new SSD or HDD working after you've installed it in your Windows 10 laptop or computer. So you've just installed a new drive in your computer or laptop, like an M.2 drive, an SSD, or a regular old HDD hard drive. And you've checked the BIOS by pressing F2 or the delete key repeatedly upon boot up and verified that the motherboard detects the drive. But when you go into the file explorer in Windows, it doesn't show up. So what gives? Well, it turns out that there are a few extra steps you need to take when installing a brand new internal drive, but it only takes a few minutes to complete and I'll show you how it's done in Windows 10. First, search for computer management in the Cortana search bar located on the left side of the taskbar and click on the result there. On the left side of the window that pops up, click on disk management. Now in the bottom panel of the middle column, look for your new drive. Here it's disk three and the capacity is 111.79 gigabytes, which corresponds to my 120 gigabyte SSD that I just installed. And you can see that all of the drive is marked in black as unallocated. Right click on that section and select new simple volume. Since we want to use all of the available space on the drive, we'll accept the default size. Next, assign it a drive letter, and you can choose any letter you want or accept the default. In the next section, we'll format the drive with all the default settings, NTFS file system, default allocation unit size, and leave the volume label as new volume. I've got quick format checked off, and I'll leave file and folder compression off for now. Confirm the details and click finish. And now we see in the file explorer, our new drive set up just the way we chose. I can browse the contents of the drive, which is currently empty, create or copy new files to it, install games, and use it just like any other drive. If you want to rename it, just right click on the drive and change it to whatever you want. I hope this video was helpful in getting your new drive set up to use in Windows 10. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. I'll put links to the videos where I installed new drives in my Nitro 5 gaming laptop in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.